A person who really wants control is running a woman's life and gives her a year to love him. He's ready to do whatever it takes to make her his. The movie opens with Massimo Torricelli's father making a deal with two human traffickers on the island of Lampedusa. They request his assistance in exchange for choosing a girl from the miners they've kidnapped. Massimo's father immediately declines upon hearing their deal and instructs his right hand, Mario, to talk to them. While using binoculars, Massimo sees a beautiful woman near the sea, smiling. His father asks what he's looking at, handing him the binoculars. He advises Massimo to be cautious of beautiful women, as they may seem heavenly in the eyes, but hellish in the soul. Massimo humorously adds that they can be purgatory for the wallet. His father encourages him to man up and take responsibilities, as everything he has will be his in due time. Soon after, a gunshot rings out, followed by a blood splatter on Massimo's face from his father. Five years later, Massimo is now a ruthless and violent leader who has taken control of the Torricelli crime family. He threatens the company he invested in with their dirty secrets and demands a refund along with interest. Discovering that his shareholders are attempting to cheat him, he fires them all. After his father is shot by an enemy gang, Massimo learns not to trust anyone around him and to be vigilant at all times. Meanwhile, Laura takes the risk of inviting a band to the hotel where she works. Their rowdy behavior at the hotel gains global attention, and the risk pays off as the hotel is booked for the next four weekends. Massimo receives a video from Anna, his ex. On the other hand, Laura checks her sexy lingerie. Returning home, she finds her live-in boyfriend, Martin, busy working. Attempting to seduce him, she is turned down, and he continues with his work. He advises her to rest as they will be waking up early for their flight to Italy to celebrate her birthday. The next morning, Massimo is on a plane heading back to Italy. Stressed by the news Mario told him, he goes to the back and covers it with a curtain. He persuades a pretty stewardess to help him blow off some steam. The night before, Laura pleasures herself with a vibrator. Laura and her boyfriend arrive in Italy the next day and go to a restaurant with her friend, Olga. Martin offers wine to the table, but before drinking it, Laura excuses herself to go to the washroom. On her way, she bumps into Massimo, who asks her, Are you lost, baby girl? She ignores him and returns. The following day, as Laura and Olga lie beside the pool, Olga asks about Martin. Laura sarcastically responds that Martin considers her the most precious to him. She also shares that even on her birthday, Martin goes out without her. Martin arrives and tells them about the scenery and experiences in Italy, where one can enjoy both snow and the sea. Hearing this, Laura gets angry, pushes Martin into the pool, and walks out. Frustrated, Laura roams alone in the beautiful sea and streets of Sicily, Italy. Later on, as she wanders deep into the streets, she bumps into a man in a suit who captures her. The next morning, she wakes up in a room she doesn't know. Trying to escape, she encounters Massimo, who asks again, Are you lost, baby girl? She loses consciousness due to her weak heart. Waking up near a fireplace, she sees Massimo. Attempting to interrogate him about her whereabouts, Massimo pushes her down to a chair. He explains that he saw her on the beach five years ago and fell in love with her at first sight. Laura appears in Massimo's dreams almost every night since he saw her, explaining why he's head over heels for her. Angry, Laura tells him she is not an object he can possess at any time. Massimo responds that he is not forcing her to love him, but will give her time to decide. He shows pictures to Laura, revealing that Martin has been cheating on her. Attempting to leave, Massimo stops her. He warns her not to provoke him and informs her that in the next 365 days, he wants her to live with him, promising not to forcefully sleep with her. If her feelings for him don't change, he will let her go. Laura still tries to escape and manages to steal the gun from Massimo, pointing it at him. Acting swiftly, he retrieves the gun. While subduing her, Mario arrives and informs him that he has a delivery before leaving. Massimo goes to their secret underground and finds Alfredo, one of his men, caught selling children in a brothel. Massimo decides not to let it pass, as it tarnishes the family name. Laura escapes again and witnesses them killing Alfredo. Seeing the scene, she faints again. Waking up the next morning, she sees Massimo sitting. He explains his reasons and assures her that he is not the one who changed her clothes. 
Accepting Massimo's conditions, she enjoys a luxurious breakfast and buys every imaginable luxurious item she sees in the shops of Italy. After a while, she gets an opportunity to escape and seizes it. Running until Massimo catches up with her, he tells her that fighting is futile and she should accept the situation. She asks him if he truly meant what he said about not touching her without her permission. He affirms that he is not the monster she thinks he is. Accepting the situation, she asks for her laptop, cell phone, and a decent dinner. Later that night, they have dinner, and Laura compares the cooking of Massimo's chef to her grandma's, stating that her grandma cooks better. She asks him about his businesses, and he explains that he has a few companies, hotels, clubs, and restaurants inherited from her father. The date concludes as Massimo asks Laura to teach him how to be gentle. The next morning, Laura wakes up beside Massimo. She heads straight to the bathroom, followed by Massimo who washes beside her as well. Laura, enticed by Massimo, seduces him, testing if he can truly wait. Later on, they ride a plane and go for a business meeting. As usual, she tries to provoke Massimo. He takes her to a hotel and ties her up. Laura continues to tease Massimo and play hard to get. The following day, she decides to go to a club with Domenico, the butler assigned to her, to provoke Massimo. She wears a sexy dress and dances. While dancing, a man tries to hit on her and assaults her, thinking that she is a prostitute. Massimo sees what's happening and pulls out two guns, pointing them at the group. The next morning, while on a yacht, Laura hears Mario reprimanding Massimo for shooting at a guy belonging to a powerful family. He tells him that he started a war. Laura interrupts them and apologizes. Massimo lashes out at her and tells her that this won't happen if she just behaves. They get into an argument, which results in Laura falling off the yacht. Massimo swiftly dives to save Laura. She wakes up as she regains consciousness and sees Massimo looking after her. Massimo tells her not to do it again as she apologizes. For the first time, Laura is touched by Massimo's action of saving her and falls in love with him. Eventually, she initiates a passionate session with Massimo. Later that evening, the two go to a party where they dance together. After they dance, Anna approaches them and tells Laura that she is the ex-girlfriend of Massimo. She whispers at him that she will kill Laura and leaves. Massimo tells Laura that he broke up with Anna the day that he saw Laura at the airport. That is why the wounds of Anna are still open. He then tells Laura that Anna is aware that Massimo has been looking for her for a very long time and has a portrait of her in his house. Laura asks what Anna whispered to him. Massimo tells the truth and assures her that he will protect her no matter what happens. When they return home, something steamy happens again between the two of them. The next day, while in the car, Domenico tells Laura to forget about Anna because it's all in the past. Shortly after, a call reaches him, and suddenly, with a serious face, Domenico tells Laura that he will send her back to Poland and tells her to go to a safe place for the meantime. He goes outside the vehicle without explaining anything and transfers to a different car. A few moments later, Laura decides to go to Olga's condominium. Olga asks her questions about her sudden disappearance, to which Laura responds that she got done with Martin. She also tells her that she found love in Sicily and fell in love. She describes how great Massimo is based on his physicality and personality. She tells Olga that Massimo is from a rich traditional Sicilian family that does not take foreigners as wives. The conversation gets too serious, and Olga decides to bring Laura outside to unwind. The two go to a salon to have a new look and spa to relax from their stress. They go to a bar to have fun where Laura coincidentally meets Martin. He tries to persuade Laura to get back with him, However, Laura is not buying any of his words. Laura leaves, but Martin persistently chases after her. He tails her up to her room, explaining and convincing her. Laura still turns him down and expresses disgust at him. Massimo appears on the couch and tells him that it's clear that Laura doesn't want him anymore. After he leaves, Laura slaps Massimo for leaving her without any notice. They get in an argument which eventually leads to a baby-making session. While at it, Laura tells Massimo that she does not need the 365 days anymore because she already fell in love with him. Upon hearing this, Massimo smiles with joy. When the morning comes, Laura wakes up on top of Massimo. Massimo is staring at her as she wakes up. When she woke up, she sees a ring on her finger, and Massimo proposes to her. 
Laura, with joy, responds with a yes to him. Later on, the two go to a luxurious shop where Laura buys her things. Afterwards, Laura decides to introduce Massimo to her parents. She tells Massimo not to tell what he is actually doing if her parents ask. He then comes to greet them and tells them that he is a gangster. Laura's parents think that he is just joking and invite him to drink with them. A few days later, Laura requests Massimo to let Olga be the bridesmaid, in which Massimo accepts. Laura also shows that she is not feeling well while having breakfast. Massimo tells her that he will tell Domenico to bring her to a doctor and bids farewell. Mario being left with Laura, she tells him that she knows that he doesn't like her. Mario tells her that it's nothing personal and due to the fact that Laura has caused a commotion in their family. Mario leaves as he will arrange Olga's arrival. She picks up Olga from the airport and the two proceed to talk in an isolated place. Laura confesses to Olga that she is pregnant, in which Olga reprimands her. She tells her hysterically that she has been dating Massimo for only two months. The two argue but eventually reconcile. The two are brought to a bridal shop in preparation for the upcoming wedding. Laura tries on one of the wedding dresses to show Olga. Olga hugs Laura, expressing her happiness for her friend. After a while, Mario receives a call from one of their men informing him that their enemy is making a move and is planning to kill Laura. He tries to contact Massimo, but his phone is busy. It appears that Massimo is talking with Laura and tells her that he misses her. Laura tells him that during dinner, she has something important to tell him. He asks about it but loses contact with her. Meanwhile, Mario tries to contact Massimo but is not successful in doing so. When he arrives, he rushes towards Massimo and immediately tells him that Laura is in danger. Massimo gets on his knees as the movie ends.